Existentialism Existentialism centers on the meaning and experience of human existence. It holds that no intrinsic purpose or meaning exists beyond what we each self-define and our choices amidst uncertainty. Like an artist facing a blank canvas, we hold responsibility for every brushstroke. Absurdism Absurdism is closely related to existentialism but holds that humanity's efforts to find meaning in a chaotic, irrational universe will ultimately fail as no meaning exists to find. It rejects existentialism's notion that people can create their own meaning and instead embraces absurdity. A core theme is the futile search for life's purpose, verging on delusional obsession. Nihilism Nihilism takes concepts of existential meaninglessness to the extreme by rejecting all notions of knowledge, truth, meaning, and intrinsic value. This school of philosophy maintains all attempts to impose or discern order, purpose, and meaning are inherently flawed intellectual constructs. Stoicism Stoicism teaches finding peace of mind by accepting what you cannot control. It says external events happen due to nature's will. We suffer when wanting to control what is not in our power. Stoics practice self-discipline to master emotions and desires, which then removes turmoil and frustration. Roman philosophers like Seneca and Marcus Aurelius wrote on ethics and virtue by going with rather than against the flow of life. Virtue Ethics Virtue Ethics teaches that morality comes from a person's inherent character, motivations and behavioral dispositions, not what rules they follow. It looks at habits and motivations inside the person to judge them as good or bad. Consequentialism Consequentialism judges if acts are right or wrong only by their outcomes. It holds that the ends justify the means, and consequences are all that matter morally speaking, not rules or motives. Deontology Deontology judges the morality of actions based on adherence to rules and duties. It argues that some choices are inherently right or wrong regardless of outcomes. Unlike virtue ethics that looks at a person's inner motivation, deontology requires obedience to moral rules as a duty in and of themselves, not just because of expected outcomes. For example, lying breaks moral law in deontology, even if the purpose is to help someone. Virtue ethics, on the other hand, may condone the lie through moral reasoning focused on the motivation behind it. Utilitarianism Utilitarianism is the view that society should aim to maximize total well-being. Actions, laws, or policies are moral if they achieve the greatest good overall, even if some suffer along the way. Rationalism Rationalism says reason is the main source of knowledge and that intuition and deduction can reveal the truth about the world. Rationalists emphasize logic over observable evidence. Rene Descartes pioneered major rationalist concepts like, I think therefore I am. Empiricism. Empiricism says knowledge comes only from sensory experience. Empiricists view the mind at birth as a blank slate to be filled solely by sensory data and reject reasoning or intuition alone as reliable guides for truth. Constructivism. Constructivism focuses on how we assemble meaning and knowledge from the world around us. It proposes that humans construct learning and truths individually rather than absorbing objective information passively. Constructivism has strongly influenced theories of education, emphasizing active student participation over mechanical memorization of static facts. Skepticism Skepticism doubts all accepted beliefs. Extreme philosophical skepticism argues that absolute truth may be unknowable and that no knowledge claim can ever be definitively proven true due to limits of perception and reasoning. Critical Theory Critical theory examines how power structures shape society and beliefs. It questions the status quo by revealing the underlying ideologies that form what we accept as normal or common sense. Critical theorists analyze things like social injustice, economic inequality, and institutionalized domination of one group over others. This is where the feminist theory is derived from, as it seeks to expose assumptions benefiting some over others. Idealism Idealism says reality is made of ideas or spirits rather than things we can touch and see. It claims our minds shape everything we experience as physical, including our own bodies, like how dreams seem real when we're in them, even if just in our heads. Realism Realism says the physical world we perceive exists independently, outside of the mind. They believe that matter and observable things are primary, while consciousness arises from detectable interactions in the brain. 
Realism claims that stuff we trip over like rocks or tables would still be there, even if no minds existed, and rejects the idealists saying matter comes from imagination. Spiritualism. Spiritualism believes that spirits of the dead communicate with the living usually through a medium. Spiritualism convinces grieving loved ones that beloved spirits are doing okay on the other side. Physicalism. Physicalism claims that reality consists only of the physical world studied by science that can be explained by atoms and molecules. It views consciousness and thinking as no more than biochemical reactions and electrical impulses sparking between neurons, and that no spirit is floating about. While realism believes that the world exists independently outside the mind, they remain neutral on the idea of consciousness. However, physicalism goes further claiming that all of reality, including consciousness, thinking, and experiences, can be accounted for by physics, matter, and motion with no remainder. Naturalism. Naturalism says the only real truth comes from science experiments, discovering how nature works, and that only facts confirmed through testing theories against evidence count. Naturalism also ignores spiritual beliefs or philosophy speculations since they can't be proved in labs. While physicalism believes everything can be explained eventually using science, even if we don't understand it today, naturalism restricts all knowledge only to those theories that have been confirmed through testing. Anarchism. Anarchism wants to get rid of rulers and laws to enable total freedom. It claims ordered cooperation happens spontaneously without state control once oppressive constraints are lifted, like volunteer crowds clearing fallen trees after storms by common caring rather than central direction. Anarchists seek progress through society, grassroots agreements, not government coercion. Marxism. Marxism aims for fair worker rights and resources shared equally. It believes those owning business capital will always exploit employees for profit otherwise. Marxists want workers democratically running factories themselves. Basically, Marxism preaches ending the class system, where the rich live well by paying the poor as little as possible. Liberalism. Liberalism promotes individual rights and liberties as the best path to justice. It emphasizes constitutional limits on government powers and free markets with open competitions not state-run industries. For example, classical liberals oppose censorship of any belief or behavior, not directly harming others through unconsented violence even if deemed offensive. They advocate moral autonomy. Communitarianism Communitarianism says strong communities with shared values matter more than individuals. Maintaining cooperative traditions and common identities takes priority over pursuits of radical freedoms that could divide societies into hostile factions. It balances caring for your neighbor with chasing personal advancement. Individualism Individualism emphasizes the intrinsic worth of the individual. Individualists promote realizing one's goals and desires, valuing independence and self-reliance, and advocating that the interests of the individual should gain precedence over the state or a social group, while opposing external interference upon one's own interests by society or institutions such as the government. Deductivism Deductivism claims utterly certain conclusions must follow logically from accepted premises. Deductivism says if I know A equals B and B equals C, I must know A definitely equals C. It claims logical step-by-step math-like rules yield 100% true conclusions. If your first premises are airtight, no guessing is needed. Inductivism Inductivism looks for consistent patterns signaling likely futures, without certainty. Like if the sun rose daily for years, betting it appears tomorrow seems reasonable too. But inductivism can't guarantee forecasts using past precedents, as new surprises might lurk ahead. Abductivism Abductivism infers the most plausible explanation using limited clues, like guessing rain based on water stains, rather than entertaining all possible accounts. Abductivism selects the best hypothesis available without certainty or applying repetitive data like inductivism. Probabilism. Probabilism estimates reasonable chances of outcomes given unavoidable randomness in parts of reality, playing with percentages, not proofs, like projecting disease rates based on probability calculations using statistics rather than making deductive declarations about any one person's health. It says stuff like coin flips or dice rolls lands randomly each time, but that over many tosses or rolls, reliably accurate ratios emerge probabilistically. Subscribe so you don't miss out on my next similar video.